Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 38. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Right, we're on to the Class B Championship. We're gonna, uh, this is to get the Mercedes D2 CLK GTR. This is gonna be quite fun, uh, because I quite like... Mercedes cars in this game. They're quite enjoyable. But uh, we're going to be moving on uh, with the 250 GTO Ferrari from 1964. Um, we're around Tokyo Circuit for 20 laps. Uh, let's get cracking. Second attempt of this race because I hate this. Mm. That's fair enough. And that makes sense. Obviously, I don't know. It's a difficult one. And it's a problem that America has made itself. No other country has made these things a problem. It's just with the entire country's mentality... Like, it, something should have changed back in the early 1900s for America. There, there probably is no way out now. But back in the 1900s, when firearms started getting more dangerous, something should have changed there and then to stop what is happening now. But, you know... Jesus. Whoa. The simp boss is hiding in the shadows. By the way, for anyone on YouTube, you are able to actually attack the simp boss. So uh, if you do want to attack the simp boss on YouTube, make sure you uh, click that join channel button. Join as a channel member. You get me. I wonder when YouTube Premium is going to... Here's the thing. I really wish YouTube Premium would do... A similar thing to what Twitch Prime does and give every content creator or like every viewer a free um, channel membership up to the value of I think they did like four pound before or something five pounds something like that I really wish they could do that because honestly it could help a lot of creators. And if they have that as a permanent thing, quite a lot of people would actually be inclined to get YouTube Premium. I think they should bring it. Because, I mean, Twitch gives away a sub for free every month with uh, Prime, and that's £7 a month. So for £12 a month to give away channel membership, that would get them level with Twitch. So if YouTube is trying to get in the same books as Twitch with their live streaming part of stuff, they should probably bring that out as a permanent feature. You can only wait for so long. I hate that corner so much. The fact that I've got to do it 20 times is even worse. I would love to see these guys live of Mice and Men. They are amazing. Whoa. 
Whoa, I've hit the wall. I've hit the wall, I've tapped the wall. I've hit the wall, I've tapped the wall. I've hit the wall, I tap the wall, bum 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 bum. I've hit the wall, I tap the wall, bum 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 bum. I've hit the wall, I tap the wall. Yeah. Right, we're gonna try and get this one done. Oh god, the car behind is actually catching up. I don't like that. Yo, welcome new people. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you do enjoy it here. Whoa. Alright, not bad. Uh, it's exclamation mark Forza. You should be able to see the completion document there. I haven't updated it yet. For the two races that we've done today so far. But uh, once I finish this one, we'll update all three events and find out the completion. It should end up going up to about 75% completed. So... I've realized I've done a completely horrendous grammatical error in that command. Here is my progress in with Forza. That sounds horrendous. I think I could use either word, but I can't have both of them there. Here is my progress in Forza. Here is my progress with Forza. Not both. Uh, yeah, so it's got spreadsheets for some of the Forza games on there so far. I think it's got all of the motorsports up to motorsports 6 so far. Uh, the Horizon games haven't been set up yet because I need to plan those. But uh, so far, motorsports 1 to 6 are actually all planned out um, for those playthroughs. The only thing I hope is that the next Forza Motorsport isn't a live service game. Because if it's a live service game, it might completely throw this playthrough off track. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I brought it up already in with Forza. It's such a bad grammatical error on my part. I have no clue what I was thinking when I typed that up either. Um, but yeah, I, as much as I want to see Forza Motorsport 8 actually having a live service thing where it's constantly updated, I just want new a new campaign every two years like we did before. In with, that is right. I don't think it is. It doesn't work in my mind. Well, clearly it did at the time. It isn't now. <laughs> Keep it. I like the grammatical errors. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would... See, this is the thing. I just want Forza to add new content and then release a new campaign every two years. I want them to carry on making new Forza Motorsports. I don't want just Forza Motorsport and then them just update it. Because I know it goes with Game Pass and it works with Game Pass. In all honesty, I think Game Pass is ruining gaming. As much as it's awesome to 
pay for one subscription and have all your games there. I don't think it's good. I don't think it supports developers. I don't think it works. I think it's it's pro consumer definitely because there's so much value for money in them. But it is so against developers to the point developers aren't putting in effort into their games to make good games anymore if they're going to go on Game Pass. Like, you've seen a lot of the games from 2018 onwards have been pretty mediocre compared to what they were beforehand. Like, you think, Fallout 4. Compare Fallout 4 to Fallout 76. Fallout 76 was trash. Fallout 4 was amazing. Let's do another comparison. Fucking, um... What is it? The Forza games, for fuck's sake. All of the Forza games up until Forza Horizon 3... Okay, yeah, Forza Motorsport 5 and 6 were question marks. They weren't great. But up to Horizon 3, they were good. And you could play them and actually enjoy them. And then Game Pass came out. Horizon Motorsport 7, I think, was didn't get put on Game Pass. But it was the first game... That started to go downhill. And then Horizon 4 came out. That was the first Game Pass game. That game flopped. It wasn't great. Horizon 5 wasn't great. If you keep it, I want my 100k bits back. <laughs> I will be changing it. Because it drives me around the bend as well. Hey, but he only said 100k... His 100k, so I still get to keep 100. <laughs> Just like every other time before. <laughs> I'm not keeping it. It would drive me crazy. In with Forza. It does not make sense. On yo, on yo, never giving up, never giving up on yo. No. <laughs> it's going to drive me crazy, so I can't keep it. If something that grammatically incorrect is apparent on my stream, it will drive me nuts. Yay, broken car engine. Money. Money. <laughs> Get a good job with more pay, you're okay. Money. Sucks that life actually revolves around money. That was way too close for comfort on the inside of that corner. It's just, a life is all about money at the end of the day. To be happy, you have to have money. But if you have too much money, you won't be happy. A really weird cycle. It's like that sweet spot. Like, if I knew I had a substantial income coming in every month, I could quite easily just stream. And that would be my work. Wouldn't even matter how much money I'd earn from Twitch at that point. If I had a stable income of some money, I'd be fine. That's a fair shout. That's a fair shout. See, that's the thing. A lot of rich people 
that complain that they've got too much money don't give their money away still. Like, I wouldn't mind if some rich, rich bugger who's got like 100 mil in the bank but doesn't know what to do with it just gave me a mil. Just to help me out. I would not mind it. Because I would then be able to get a car, be able to move out into a house, and I'd be able to stream. And that mill, uh, the thing is, I could quite easily make a million last me 20 years. <laughs> that is pretty crazy though, Fallen. I'll give you that. You are a very generous fellow indeed. Ah, your ball bag. I've hit the wall. Uh. Charming. Do do away away Meow Bada. Yay, my car sounds came back. Every breath of me. Maybe I can light the way. I can light the way back to me. I fucking love this song. Back to... This is a band I'd love to see, but I don't think they're doing any shows in the UK. And if they are, it's fucking expensive. I can guarantee you it. Probably costs like 400 quid. Of me. I can light the way, I can light the way back to me. There we go, not too bad. Whoa! Let's go. Slip and slide all around. I got nothing upside down. I don't know what I'm singing, but I don't give a kill it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Around 120 euros every month from the state. The state. That's such a good song. Fucking Porter Robinson. Oh shit, I'm in reverse. Ah, your ball bank. Go, 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 go. Come on. Get out. There we go. Maybe you can light the way. The way. 
Those rear tires are starting to light up, plus the uh, front right is lighting up a little bit as well. Something to her heart. I don't live in a cage. Whoa! Slip and slide all over the place. Make sure I don't hit no walls. Cause if I hit the wall, then I'ma be in deep shit. I didn't hit the wall, so we're good. Meow. Okay, not too bad. Six thousand seven hundred twenty eight euros a month. That's fucking ridiculous, man. So in a month, you could afford 10 fucking CSL DD uh, fucking Gran Turismo wheels. That's fucking mental. Yo, Steph, long time no see. How you been? Nothing to say. I don't live in a cage. Whoa. I really got as... Do you know what? I'm going to set my next goal as a Gran Turismo CSL DD. That's going to be my next goal. We got to try and earn 800 quid to get that. So pretty much close to how much we had for the PC. <laughs> I want a Fanatec, though. Who doesn't want a Fanatec? Fanatecs are awesome. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. It's just a goal to have, because at the moment, I am stuck... Um, on what's it called? Stuck on what to get for my setup because my setup's pretty, pretty smashing as it is. Fair enough. No worries, Steph. Get some sleep. Right, I'm going into pit lane. Box, 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 box. Copy that. Box, 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 box. <laughs> Whoa, box. Wow. We're in. <laughs> so the other car's actually carried on, so... 
RTX 3090 it. I mean, I'm tempted to... The thing is, if I did get a new wheel, I would sell my old one. So, I would probably only need 700, actually. 600. Because the wheel could sell for 200. That Logitech with the shifter would sell for 200 easily. <laughs> oh shit, I'm second. Hope the other car goes into the pits then. No worries, Aaron. No worries. I need to get... I'm, so what I'm planning on doing is... I'm planning on troubleshooting. See you later, Al Aaron. I said alligator as well. <laughs> later is alligator. Um, yeah. Once F122 comes out, uh, I will more than likely... Um, more than likely start playing VR stuff again on stream. And I also might have to factory reset my PC to try and get my drivers working for my Logitech wheel. I still have to try and uninstall it. Uninstall the drivers and then just leave them uninstalled for a while. But I'm also going to try plugging in the wheel into, um, what's it called? Try and plug the wheel into my Xbox and see if the wheel starts working again in the Xbox. Because if it doesn't, then it means I've got a dodgy wheel. So come and get it. Yeah, it would be VR Formula 1 or something like that. F122 VR. But I really want to play through that entire game as VR. Uh, I don't like VR chat. I think it's a really shitty game. It's really poorly optimized to the point that my PC just hates it. My PC hates it. And there's so many weird people on VR chat. Like the it's it's basically a hub for like dodgy people. It really is a hub for dodgy people. Everyone on there is is dodgy. My PC doesn't have a problem with it unless I'm streaming. At which point it's like, I don't like this. But even then, it's a, it's a game that's built off Unity, but everyone always puts some insane fucking... Um, what's it called? Obviously not everyone on VR chat is dodgy, but you will get... In every lobby, there will always be one or two dodgy people that just ruin the experience for everyone, especially streamers. They go out their way to ruin the experience for streamers big time. So, it's honestly such a pain in the ass. Because I would love to do VR chat content. I, would l I enjoyed it when I was in the private sessions with restricted amount of people. But the thing is, you can only enjoy that for so long... Before you then have to... Because you can't then find new people. You can't have new people to join. 
it's a pain in the ass. And obviously we did that for a while, having a private lobby, but the as soon as private lobby happened, it it it, it was it wasn't as good. The stream didn't do as well. It wasn't as much of an enjoyable experience. Like, in terms of the amount of fun we were having. Like, we could have a lot of fun with... We would have more fun in a public lobby. But, the problem is, there were so many people that came in to try and ruin the experience. Obviously, you block them, but the amount of times it happened... Oh, shit. I've crashed. The amount of times it happened, though, it was just... Was a horrible experience. <laughs> That's why I ended up stopping just doing VR chat content. I'll still go on to VR chat, like once a month, but at the end of the day, I've got a lot of racing content to do anyways at the moment. So, because it was at the same time that Grid Legends came out, so I was playing that nonstop. Because that's a huge game, actually. There's a lot of content in that game. Uh, then Gran Turismo came out. There's a lot of content in that game. That I'm still getting through. Now I'm doing the Forza stuff. So I'm having to do a Forza stream twice a week. Maybe even three times a week. Um, oh, I got hiccups. And then on top of that. So I only end up with... Oh, God, my voice fucking went. I only end up with, like, one or two streams a week that I can actually try other stuff that isn't racing content. And most of the time, I will want to fill it up with some other story game, like Fallout 4 or something like that, to the point... Um, I just can't fill it up. Like, I don't have enough screen time unless I'm streaming like eight hours a day but I also don't get enough money to stream eight hours a day <laughs> so because my income would not allow me to do that I would have to get a job until Twitch paid itself off basically so I would love to be able to just make content 24-7 if I could. That would be the dream job. The echo. Ah, your ball bag. I am tempted to do something slightly different for my next subathon stream, so stay tuned for that, because that will be in about a month, maybe two months' time. Thank you very much for that, Aaron. I appreciate it. But yeah, there's just so much stuff at the moment that I want to do. And obviously, now that I'm doing this Forza project, this is taking up majority of my screen time. My whatever it is. It's taken up all of my YouTube screen time, that's for sure. So every single day is going to be a Forza video for the foreseeable future. But on stream, it's taken up a good 25 to 40% of my screen time. So, Mech, I'll leave you if you ever get big. <laughs> oh, sad. Uh, maybe I'm not going to get big. Take it away, take it away. <laughs> I appreciate it, Aaron. Yeah, so obviously, if I ever got crazy big, like to the point I was having like 500 viewers a stream, 
I would probably end up having to put sub only chat on just because of how many people would chat. I hope it wouldn't have to come to that. But obviously, like some streamers, it's just impossible. But I would make sure that there was a way for some of the people who have been here from the start that they could chat still as well. I think you can do like VIP badges and stuff like that. So I'd probably end up giving like having like a cycling VIP badge system or something. But, I don't know. That's, like, miles away anyways. We're not getting to, like, 500 viewers a stream for a good three, four years, let's be honest. So, and that's still even a push at this rate. Oh, it's my VIP badge. <laughs> no one has VIP at the moment, but I'm going to be sorting some stuff out. i got to go through all my channel points, and once I do, um, I'm going to bring VIP back. For 20k, it's going to be a fixed rate rather than a variable rate like it was before. Um, so straight up, 20,000 channel points, you can get a VIP badge. Um, but then once all the VIP badges are redeemed, um, if someone then redeems VIP again, the first person that got VIP badge will get it removed and they'd have to buy it again. So that way it gives everyone a chance to get VIP. Not just a select few. If that makes sense. So everybody gets a chance. It's nice and fair that way. <laughs> so carry with me. Do you take it away? It's all okay. That car behind is a little too close. So I have to pay for permanent VIP. I probably wouldn't do permanent VIP, to be honest, because, again, that would then be separating out individual people. I think I just want to make it equal for everyone for the VIP thing. But then again, by the time you probably would lose VIP, you'd have enough channel points to buy it back, like, 20 times anyways. So... Everyone has a price. Yeah, a million dollars. There you go. <laughs> uh. So we've won this only just and pretty slowly as well. Uh, and now that I say that, I've still got the death chicane to come, so... Uh, get through! Ah, oh, we did it. Oh shit! My price is a computer. Computer. All right, thirty-seven minutes. Not bad. Let's uh, take my one twenty-nine grand and see what car we got for that. And that is a CLK GTR. I love this car, by the way. It is beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.